Hello and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. If you're new, then welcome. And if you're returning, then welcome back. We are the Petaways Party of Three. And as you all can tell in this video, we have taken the party to, or I should say through Louisiana. If you watched my previous video, you all knew that we were gearing up for a road trip and our first stop is in the great state of Louisiana at the Creole Nature Trail, guys. When you first cross over from the Texas to Louisiana border, this is one of the first kind of welcome centers and rest stops that you can stop at. It's a great place to get out and get that picture in front of the Louisiana sign as well as stretch your legs, have a bathroom break, and really enjoy nature. Can you go wrong with some good old rock? skipping it is worth mentioning that the Creole nature trail is actually 180 miles long so we actually just stopped at this point of the trail in Lake Charles and it gave us a beautiful scenic view a lovely backdrop for photos and it gave us enough space to run around and work up an appetite for some good old Cajun food What's up? I have my mask on. We are in Louisiana and their governor isn't crazy like our governor in Texas. So they actually mandated the mask back here. So yeah, we are actually in Louisiana now at this place called Seafood Palace. It's actually a little like hole in the wall. I chose it because the food was good and the servers have been nice. Let me show you guys the menu really quickly. And flip it over, all right. All right, in there. All right, so they have some, definitely some interesting things on here. We got some frog legs. We have gators, duck tenders. So yeah, we are definitely going to eat a couple of interesting things here. All right guys, so here's the gumbo. I am definitely a little concerned. Looks kind of soupy there. But we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see what's up. We're gonna try it out. And babe, uh, just so baby girl's food came out shortly later. She just had the corn dog and then all of our main dishes came out. We had fried okra, fried fish, um, we had some french fries, shrimp, basically a seafood platter. Got full, it was pretty good. And then we hit the road again, guys. And what is a road trip without a couple of random stops on the way? So we stopped at Candyland Cottage and Ice Cream Shop, you guys. This was the cutest. It is in Scott, Louisiana, but they also have another location in Rain, Louisiana. And when I say this was so much fun, you guys, you walk in and there is candy everywhere. Unique candy, vintage candy, you name it. Gummy tacos. Look, a, a toilet. A toilet? Yes, a toilet. They've got little gummy noodles. Yes, look, a toilet. Oh, no, a toilet. Uh, yeah. A toilet in the store. He's probably got to use gummy the Gummy pizza. Uh -huh, that's what that is in the back of the plunger to plunge out the toilet. Mm. A gummy burger. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Uh huh, gummy burger. That's crazy. Oh, some gummy tacos. Uh huh. Gummy fast food. Uh huh. Gummy fast food. This is an interesting little place. Nah, that Ooh. is too much. Meet Bob, the world's largest gummy bear. He weighs 26 pounds, you guys. 26 pounds gummy bear. And look at that snake. <laughs> and, uh, gummy warm next week. Look at this. Look at this. And this the lobster. Look at the gummy lobster. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> Don't do that crazy cat. Oh, look at those giant lollipops. 150 bucks to have the world's biggest gummy. 
If a kid in a candy store was an actual person, here you go, guys. They had the cutest little mini cards. Um, we have these at our local HEB and things like that, but they are perfect for kids to walk around and shop and feel like big girls. And she pretty much did just that. We let her walk around and grab what she wanted and kind of fill up the cart to almost her heart's content. And then we explored a little bit more. Not only did they have candy, but they also had bluebell ice cream, which is a Texas staple. Well, a Southern staple, if you will and they had delicious homemade fudge they even had like a chocolate dipped strawberries that they would make to order for you yum so look guys they have this little old mining thing set up and it has like actual water running through They don't know what they're doing. I, I, I'm obviously not a minor. <laughs> <laughs> We had so much fun at that little candy store, guys. It definitely is a must-do if you're traveling through Louisiana and you have little ones with you. But just like that, we were back on the road and Louisiana was good to us. But we are actually headed straight through and we are going on to the next location. So we are going to enjoy the view. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you have not already. And we are going to keep it moving, guys. Uh-huh, that's a factory on the water. And it's glowing. Wow, look at that big old boat over there. Very cool. Oh, I see that giant boat. There's a boat over there too, big giant one over there. A giant boat, a huge boat. Probably they're having a party on that boat. They're working. Oh my God, it's so dark. So guys, we made it to Mississippi, and as you guys can see, baby girl is asleep. It's about 11 p.m., so we're going to wrap it up. See you guys in the morning.